And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cleveland Browns and the Minnesota Vikings. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. It's, it's going to be a long run. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Morton. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, Moulton going deep for Diggs and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Making the stop there, Daniil Hunter. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, here's Stafford. It's called Beckham. He's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. 
They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say if this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Pick it up, defense. Let's go. Throwing on third down. Stafford. He finds his target. Back him. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. And it's taken in at the nine. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That will allow him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. 45 to the mic. 45 to the mic. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. Check. 45 to the mic. Check. 45 to the mic. Watch, watch the slap. Watch the slap. Throwing again. Moulton. Let's it fly for Thielen. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An explosive 38-yard pickup. Well, we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? First down, here's the run with Cook. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. They ran it well. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football over time, when you do it consistently, usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. No score after one on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Cook. 
And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Sean Williams that time in on the stop. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. The 40. The 20. 10. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for Browns TD. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you don't, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken very short. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find the matchup. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brian Burns able to record his fifth sack of the season. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And, and just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often, second and 24. Accepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play. And that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Moulton. This one taken in by Ola B.C. Johnson. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Beckham the return. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Browns will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Browns drive about to get started. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shot of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Stafford. He's going to air one out. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 
Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He's got a first down past the 30. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. A big play that time out of Chubb. 45 yards on the ground. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 25 yards that time. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. Check, check, check. Mike 54. Mike 54. Hey, tighten, tighten down, tighten down. There you go. 59. Smooth. 59. On first down, Stafford here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter able to record his fifth sack of the season. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Hey, Charlie. Mike 54. Here's Stafford. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Open space inside the 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken short. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they... And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. 45 is the mark. Know your job. Eddie Wilson. Check, 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 check. Rush in. Rush in. Rush in. Looking to throw. Moulton. 
eluding the pressure right. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating from the gun, Bolton. Oh, when this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the off. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off the squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Check three, check three, check three. Check 99, check 99. Hey, hey, switch gears, switch gears. Shift, shift. Tight dog, get ahead. Here's Chubb to try to run it in. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken very short. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Second and three. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Intended for Irv Smith Jr. Incomplete. Brings up third down and three yards. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, Moulton. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he's on to punt for Minnesota. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Beckham. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. 
It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for the Browns. 51 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. A run for Nick Chubb. Great move, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Stafford going for it all. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he's able to get a hand in and knock it away. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He loses four, and it brings up fourth. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. This will be taken short. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Back to throw. Morton lets it fly for Thielen. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. On second down now. It's Cook. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Sean Williams there defensively to break that one up. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zoe was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Set! 
The Browns drive about to get started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. To throw is Stafford. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41-yard line. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 41. They give the Chubb out of the gun. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Easy, easy. On second and nine, Stafford. And the pressure gets to him and brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Well, not takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Browns on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Shotgun snap for Stafford. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And got his man complete. That one good for 37 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Here's a second and seven. He's going to walk one deep left side here. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. In need of a conversion on third down. They had a big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Go, go back, go back. We got motion. We got motion. Back up, back up. 
Check. 45. Operating from the gun. Morton. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Twelve yards there, first down Vikings. This quarterback now just seven of 16 passing thus far, but he's got a first and ten. From the gun, Moulton. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. Touchdown, Vikings! Adam Thielen, his second touchdown on the season. And the Vikings are able to close the gap just a bit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Hey, hey, hey. And again, it's Chubb. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Mike 55, Mike 55. Stafford. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. He's picked off near his own 48. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Throwing on first down. Moulton. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. I got him. 45, 45. Mike, 45. Back to the air on second down. Moulton. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call, and you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. 45, 45, 45, Mike, 45. Operating from the gun, Morton, and he's got his tight end, that's Smith. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Off play action, Morton. It's complete to Diggs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. On first and 10, Morton. 
And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. Makes the score Browns 23, Vikings 17. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game? This will be taken very short. The Browns drive about to get started. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down. A big seam, and he might go all the way. 20, 10, 5, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense not give up another touchdown. This will be taken short. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tap. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Vikings going to signal for their first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18, and he's going to go down again. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. From the gun on third down, Moulton. He's going to let it fly, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Demarius Randall. Johnson was the intended receiver. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. He'll take a shot for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Mike. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check Mike 54. Mike 54. Yeah, let's get a second. Hey, Delta. Right there, 54, right there, right there. From the gun, Stafford. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for Cleveland. Well, this is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Go! Yeah. 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Demarius Randall, and he's going to go down as time has now run out on this game. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it, and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Cleveland, they fall a game under 500 now at three up and four down. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through seven games. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home.